We're asking our fans to give us suggestions, and whatever they say, we have to use it in a commercial for our products. Cannibal. <laughs> this is Fat19 Nougat. Video Mad Libs. Fat19 fans are shopping. Let's go ask them some questions about Mad Libs. Ed, give me a historical figure. Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln, I'm guessing you meant Abraham. Yes. A verb ending in I-N-G. Speeding? Speeding! Give me something a baby would say. Goo goo. Give me a task that is hard. Rubbing your stomach and patting your head at the same time. Can you try it? Oh, no, okay, wait. That's pretty hard. A word that ends in able. Cannibal. <laughs> something you're embarrassed to admit. I have pooped my pants. A classic kids game. Tetris. Give me something that you would do in space. Fly around and eat beans. <laughs> Fly around and eat beans. Well, yeah, because I'd be in a can. Job that would exist like on an alien planet. Probably bug eating. Absolutely bug eating. What is something that you would eat on Thanksgiving? Stuffing. Stuffing? Fantastic answer. A historical figure. Me. You're a historical figure? What's your name? Becker. Becker is a historical figure. Now we know. What is something a character in a video game says? It's a me Mario. Do you think you could do a TikTok dance even if you don't know one? Get the shopping cart. Yeah, I love it. A furry creature that lives in the forest. Cool there. What is a snack or something you would bring to a Super Bowl party? Nachos. A job that would have like maybe existed a long time ago. Horse scrubber. Absolutely. There had to be a horse scrubber in the old days. Can you make up a name for a Ninja Turtle? Poopy Butt. <laughs> Poopy Butt the Ninja Turtle. The name of a restaurant. Mm, Texas Roadhouse. Oh, such a good one with the peanut shells on the floor. And now, our feature presentation. Darlene, what are you doing here with Abraham Lincoln? Ted, I, I didn't expect you to be here. It's not what it looks like. Abraham Lincoln and I are just speeding. <clears throat> Sup. I came here to tell you that I'm in goo-goo with you, but I can see that you're rubbing your belly and patting your head at the same time. That's nice, Ted, but I don't think it's going to work out between us. You're just too <sighs> cannibal. Bro, that is cold. <sighs> Did pooping our pants together mean nothing to you? Ted! Tetris, Ted! People change! Darlene, maybe we should fly around and eat beans? No, Abraham Lincoln. I have to tell him. Ted, Abraham Lincoln and I are bug eating. Then I challenge Abraham Lincoln to a duel. I accept. You'll meet the same fate as Becker. It's a me, Mario! <laughs> 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 But you didn't expect me to know shopping cart. Boys, stop! That's enough! I'm sorry, Ted. I'm just not in koala bears with you anymore. I see. Well, I won't waste any more of your nachos. Here, this is for you. It's a pickle plush. I know pickles are your favorite. Ted, we'll always be horse scrubbers. I'd like that. Take it easy. Poopy butt. Huh? He'll be okay. Now we'd better get going or we're gonna be late for our shift at Texas Roadhouse. How many coins for the beers? Get the pickle plush and hundreds more curiously awesome gifts at vat19.com. Hi right, mom, what is the highest number that you feel like you could count to? 5,625. Very specific number. A weird musical instrument. An automaton. Oh, classic, that's a Vat19 product. What is something that you have to do in the kitchen to cook brookies? A chocolate batter. Do either of you know a very popular dance move? The sturdy. The sturdy? <laughs> you did it! That's the sturdy! A zoo animal. Oh, red panda. Oh, well, yeah, that's a great one. Something like you might have to do at your house that would make you really tired. Running for president. <laughs> Running for president. Yeah, that would be a tiring thing to do. A historical document. The Declaration of Independence. A word to describe one of your siblings. Ugly. Ouch! Favorite Vat19 product? Uh, slushy cup. He's got it right there. You see that? There it is. A word to describe sports. Dangerous. Be safe out there, right? An object too heavy to throw. An old box TV. 
I thought it was going to just be old box, a world, or a location in a video game. Crazy Dave's Backyard. Crazy Dave's Backyard. Is that plants and zombies? Something that you would find in nature. Campers. Campers. Yeah, that's great. Like the actual like people. So an animal that would stare at you too long. Probably a llama. You said your name was Tommy? Yes. What do you wish you were named? It's actually a name that my dad was going to name me. <laughs> what was it? Thor. Thor, no way, dude. My dad was going to name me Thor also. That's awesome. What is one thing you would say to your cat? You need to be a little less mean. You need to be a little less mean. Obviously, you have a mean cat. What was one thing that you did on accident that got you in trouble? I put my mom's face. Okay, that's a good one. The fake scary movie title. Up from the toilet. That uh, would be terrifying. Loving baby talk to a, uh, a partner. White Calls sugar. me white granulated. Granulated white, white sugar. Granulated. A catchphrase you can think of from a cartoon character. Me, me. Perfect. That's a good roadrunner. And now, our feature presentation. Hey. You still not feeling well? <coughs> Actually, I'm feeling perfectly fine for my date later. <coughs> Are you kidding? Your temperature's like 5,625, and you're burning up like an automaton on fire. <sighs> but at least I have my adorable Robin Doodle Cup humidifier to lightly stir chocolate batter in the room. <clears throat> I'll be doing the sturdy for my date in no time. You look worse than a red panda running for president. And all Americans should eat garbage. And that's saying something. I'll be fine. I'll feel better after I have my Declaration of Independence. <coughs> you really need to stay in with a bowl of ugly slushy cup until you feel better. But this guy's like the full package. He's like a dangerous old box TV. Plus he works at Crazy Dave's backyard for crying out loud. Girl, you're clammy, you have a runny nose, and you can barely get off the couch. How are you even supposed to get to this date? I don't know but I don't want to have to cancel with another camper to this guy. Where am I? I'm sorry, but you remember the last time you went out while you were sick? You I called a llama Thor, and, and all I could, could say was, you need to be a little less mean. I need to go and break mom's vase. Promise me you won't go on that date. <laughs> <sighs> I promise. I'll just watch Up From The Toilet. They say it's the best movie to help heal granulated white sugar-itis. Okay, well, I hope you start feeling better. Hey, I got your camper. What is happening? Let's stay here tonight instead. Oh my God! <laughs> ah, it came up from the toilet. Buy the ramen noodle diffuser and hundreds more curiously awesome gifts at that19.com. Whatever you say, we've got to put it in the video, all right? Can you say a verb, an action word? Sprint. Perfect. Sprint. An old school electronic. Atari? An Atari, like an Atari video game. What do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a coder, so like a video game coder. A type of food or a brand you would see at the grocery store when you're shopping? Chicken. Chicken? I love it. An everyday item, something you use every day. My iPad. Describe your favorite movie. Full of dance and music. I love it. <laughs> Perfect. How about a hobby? Playing soccer. Playing soccer. Very good one, yeah. Something a family member does that annoys you. Hits and scratches me, my brother. Oh, you looked You looked uh, right over here when you said that. One thing that happens in one of the Star Wars movies. The Death Star blows up. The Death Star blows up. That's a classic part of that movie. Tell me your school mascot. Uh, an eagle. You're the Eagles? You're the Eagles? Yeah. Something that you would find in a bathroom. Toilet paper. Something that is sticky but is not tape or glue. Sticky the poo. Sticky the poo. That's a good one. Name a skill you wish you had. Yeah, to be good at golf. To be good at golf. So you do golf, but you're not good at it? Yeah. What would be something you would do to a pet? Cuddle it. Aww. An unmistakable sound. A horn? A horn. That's a classic one. Okay. Is there anything in your pocket currently that might be interesting? Oh, he's got a monster energy drink in there. Yeah, that was surprising. I want you to look up 
any comment from any of our videos and read it out loud. Okay, there we go. Why y'all so funny? <laughs> Why y'all so funny? And now, our feature presentation. Ugh, none of our ideas are any good. Why can't we invent something cool? Okay, wait a sec. What if we go with something like Skittles cotton candy? It takes something that's recognizable and turns it into something new, but still awesome. Unlike that sprinting Atari we made last week. Well, no wonder you're still living at home and I'm still a video game coder for chicken. Wait, wait, I've got it, I've got it. Let's reinvent the iPad. But make it full of song and dance. Oh my god! It'll appeal to people playing soccer who love to hit and scratch me. Yeah. We can use my iPad. Oh, but careful. Sometimes it can get a little Death Star blows up. Oh, you know what I mean? oh, 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 oh. we need two eagles. The toilet paper with wires! Oh. I'll apply some sticky the poo to get everything to stick. Oh, I'm so excited, I can barely be good at golf! And it's done! I'm gonna cuddle it to turn it on. Oh, I can hear it horn. Oh, yes! We're finally gonna have enough money to buy a monster. Oh, I can't wait to look my boss straight in the eye and say, Why wow, y'all so funny? Well, it's definitely full of song and dance, but I think it might be... Whoa! Great shot, get that with one in a million. Well, at least we still have the cotton candy. Buy Skittles cotton candy and hundreds more curiously awesome gifts at vat19.com. Vat19.com.